Hello everybody, what's up? We're doing more Ubers. I am going to do the Death Projector this episode. Which, uh, hopefully won't take that long and hopefully I don't die. But it's a tricky Uber and I really like this one. It's always been one of my favorites, just based on the creativity of it. That, uh, it's gotta be kinda hard to <laughs> think up some of the stuff and that aren't easily completed. It's got some interesting mechanics to it. I mean, it's got immunity shields again because that's one of the things that is what makes them difficult. That you can guarantee, okay, every character is going to have the same trouble with this. So I really like this one. It's going to take a little bit to get down there, so I figured I'd explain it while I'm going down and hopefully not lose focus and die. Uh, what you have to do is destroy the death projector. Sounds easy. Only problem is that it projects death and it shoots out a laser beam that goes in a full 360 circle. It co sort of like rotates like a clock hand. Uh, if you get hit by that, uh, you're going to instantly die. The damage was recently reduced, but it's pretty much a one-hit kill. I don't know how easy it is to survive, and for my character, I already know it's definitely going to be, if I get hit, I'm dead. Which, big surprise. Uh, so, it's going to be in level four or three, I don't remember exactly which one, but I gotta find the next staircase. What makes it difficult, besides the uh, the death beam, that's that's the least of your worries. The biggest problem is that there's a whole bunch of things around it that uh, you can't hit. They're completely immune, you can't do any damage to them, you can't slow them down or anything because they're completely untargetable. And, wow, I just had a dumb thought. Why didn't I use Spellbind on Lord Jitten? That would have made complete sense. Anyway. For Death Projector, you need to have those immune guys near the Death Projector. Otherwise, the immunities of the Death Projector won't be taken down. So you have to keep them close by, but you can't kill them. And if one of them kill you, it completely reheals the Death Projector. So a lot of stuff you need to think about on this and you really need a high damaging single target uh, skill in order to do this. Also might as well throw out some Adriums to uh, distract these dudes. And I haven't played Death Projector in a while, you really need to get used to a run path to get around it so that the beam doesn't kill you. I have a feeling I'm going to get killed by it, but the plan is to throw a whole bunch of phalanxes on it and let them destroy it over time. So let's just run in here. There it is. Back up. That's crap, crap, crap. And then... Oh, that was easy. That was a lot of talk for something that went so easily. I remember it having way more health than that. But... There you go. I don't like that charm. I believe the maximum is 15% for all of those. And 11% life is the most important thing, and that's the lowest modifier on it. So I'll probably do it again at some point, but... You can see my health at the bottom goes up by quite a bit, increases my mana as well, which hasn't been too much of a problem lately. And if you remake a character, the experience gained is still going to be there, so that helps for leveling up. Anyway, that's Death Projector for you. That was... <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed. It used to have, the first time I ever did it, actually, uh, one of the first times I did with a different Zon, in a different patch a long time ago, it took me about two minutes each of throwing uh, phalanxes on top of it to destroy it, but my damage is pretty freaking high right now. Phalanx doing 37k right now. I don't even have bloodlust on it. It's probably a little bit higher than that per hit. And with that many phalanxes stacked on it, what are you going to do? The pit! And here in the pit we can find this uber quest, which is pretty much the contraption that you fight before Bael ball, ball, ball. Before that guy. It's pretty much Act 5 strength monsters, so I've done it before. Hopefully uh, this one isn't too hard. It starts with a whole bunch of monsters around it, but I should be able to spam them out. And we're gonna give this one a try. Yep. Yeah, I'm able to teleport. Ah, what the heck is that? I can't use any skills. This is not going how I expect it. <laughs> it still should be vaguely kind of easy. Kind of. <sighs> Crap! No, no you don't. It's 
casting that crap on me that makes me uh, not able to use my skills. My uh, spirit of vengeance is going crazy. And just summoning stuff all willy nilly. And. Kaboom? Is it gone yet? There it is. Optical detector. We're gonna have to wait till next episode to see what that does.